Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not even on my mm -hmm. dad walk. You know on. what? That's the only time I get you smile. I'm gonna start having this damn show, to be honest with you. Shut up. You don't smile for the show. You're too damn serious <laughs> for me. So I'm finna shut it down. Because I'm all business. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we got a guy here today, man. This guy don't really need no introduction, man. This guy's dope. This guy's one of those guys, man, that's a patriarch for me in this city, man. Uh, when I think about the music and what, what he brings to the table, man. Just a, a, a pure gentleman, too, and a father, man. Somebody who people can look up to in this city, man. They start, A lot of people say they don't have no OGs and all this. You know, the, these young niggas done turn into the OGs now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they, on, uh, they creating their own... Um they creating their own wave, you know. So Lou Diamond is in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Lucci. Lou yeah, you know this guy. Hey, what's name are we doing? Hey, I'm Lou Diamond right now. You know, well, I'm I'm, I'm always Lucci, but uh, you know, I'm Lou Diamond. You know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm Lou Diamond. You know, mm -hmm. shit. Be honest, bro. When I move around, more people call me that. Really? Than they call me Lucci. Really? Yeah. The younger kids or the older guys or the who? Kids. People, the younger kids. Younger period. People that since I came home from jail, right. I don't hear Lucci like talking really? about. It. I just hear Lou Diamond. You know what I mean? Okay. Wow. So that right there tells me something in the whole too. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Cause shit, you know my old fans, they only know Lucci. The old, right. old fans. Right. But now when I step out and they walk out the car, or I'm walking to the gas station or wherever I'm at, Lou Diamond. That's that boy Lou Diamond, okay? <laughs> so he listening to the Lou the Diamond, you know right, what I'm saying? The, new, mm -hmm. the work is, is it's never been a question. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, the times have changed. Yes, sir. You know, but at the end of the day, we, we hear, um, we got a lot of different uh, avenues now, as we was talking before we came online. Mm -hmm. A lot of different things that um, we can do to change the way that things are being done. And also to add to things that are still, ha you know, st some things are still working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people don't, they forget that too. Uh, who was that last night talking about they sell CDs? Oh, um, oh Chief, Don, Don Chief. Don Chief. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. saying he can sell CD because at the end of the day, we told Just him. Just like Pimpin' Ken. Ken. Pimpin' Ken come in here and sell me, I ain't got no damn DVD player. Yeah. But because it's a it's my guy, you know what I'm saying? Support. Yeah. I'm going to support him because this nigga brought a case in here full of DVD. Nigga, you done went got those DVDs, nigga. <laughs> Give me two hey. of them. <laughs> hey, it's, a it's, still a, it's a still a demand for certain things. Man. Exactly. You know, because it turns from, sometimes it may turn from a person listening to it to a collector's item. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, memorabilia. You know exactly. What um, but what I want to know, I want to know about that liquor because I see you all over yeah. the social media um, pushing it, promoting it. I mean, showing it. Um, is that my bottle? Yes, that actually is. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. It actually is y'all. Why bottle, are you looking you know at me like that? I was no, at, not y'all. It's mine. It's okay. not y'all. Yeah, you don't, don't drink. drink. You know, queen of the house. You it's know, mine. however, it's, 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 yeah, I brought it for you. What this That's is? This up. is my um, this is my brand, man. It's a uh, Dallas based uh, bourbon. We got um Dallas base. I yeah, love it's that. Dallas base. We made uh we got the distillery. Y'all should come down. We're gonna do an okay. event. Y'all should come okay. down. It's um right off of Mike and Bird in thirty five. I know what uh, that is. You come see where it's made and stuff like that. But this right here is a botanical bourbon. It's a uh, vegan. The thing about us with this, I got a gin and a bourbon. The yeah, I see two it, different bottles that yeah. you'd be showing. The taller bottle and that one. Yeah, the taller bottle, and the gin, and then the darker bottle, the bourbon. Thing mm -hmm. about them, they're both plant based. They're vegan. You know, no I sugars, no nothing like that added. You know, it's so you don't get natural. drunk real quick because they uh, say nah, the sugar don't. gets you drunk real quick. Nah, this gonna get you drunk because it's ninety <laughs> proof. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's so 90 proof. no, this the real deal. But nah, it's smooth, man. It's it's just one of the smoothest bourbons and smoothest gins you're gonna ever taste. So this you know? is your company well it's a partnership with a company it's a company rockstar is the actual company they okay. were already branded they were already based you know when i came home but, okay uh, they were about a year in production and then i end up linking with them and how we did that happen how did the link come Ma about because the reason why i'm asking that because there's a lot of people who be sitting down watching the show and be like oh i want to do that how did he do that yeah well it Good comes question. from what like you said just working what i did was actually i did a video i don't know if you remember um we did a video with doc money water yeah i remember I, saw, I remember that so we did the salad video and that's when the first time I, I went to the distillery and i got there so then after we did the distillery after we did that video the owners of it called to say hey man uh we want to help 
brand this liquor can you guys come do a photo shoot for us mm-hmm. so they called us down there and they all came down there and paid us to do a photo shoot you know oh. so everybody did the photo shoot but um at the end of the day it was a lot of artists a lot of us that went uh after the the set they all left you know what i mean and you hung around yeah i stayed i told him i i gave him i gave him i was like hey you keep this you know what i'm saying what are you trying to give us i said you keep that just give me some more bottles you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying give me a week i'll be back you know what i mean I left that night. See, you saw bam, the grind bam, in bam, there. Bam, bam. Yeah, I went to the hub, messed with Baby Bay. I went to all these different, went down there, messed with Bruce Wayne. You know, I did a whole lot of things, and I went back with him with footage and stuff that Tuesday. I was going to wait to that Thursday, but I went back that Tuesday. And then uh, I made him a promise. I said some stuff, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We made an agreement, and then shoot. I here hope you got an right agreement here. in yeah. writing. Yeah, we, we here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Might have a new but sponsor. Like might have a new sponsor, Taylor Gabriel. You didn't do what you said, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, nigga, I might have something else to do now. So, Taylor, if you watching, know that there's other niggas out there with liquor, nigga. That's but my I boy. love that, though. and I love his Dallas base. I love his vegan because the way how it's the industry, vegan. I done missed that the way part. how the industry yeah. is right now, everybody See, is going vegan. Dope. People yeah. are trying to, you know, animal cruelty and all of that is real. Yeah, so people are trying to, you know, save the planet and all of that. Yep, this is a planet save. Well, what? Well, really, well, we still eat. We're using the grass and the herbs because, like, when y'all, y'all come and we show you the process on when it's made, you know, we going you'll I see. I can't the, wait to see that. See the, the Make sure send me stuff. the invite so yeah, I know that. exactly what date and stuff. Man, Man you, I, it's just something when you can get out and come home and get busy. Get busy. Get busy, man. You know I'm, I'm going I'm to talk about a few things. Because uh, that grind stay inside of you, yeah. no matter what. We about to go down through there. So, I mean, a lot of stuff Let's I didn't ask up. you last time. You yeah. were still just fresh coming on. I tried to take it easy on you. But yeah, this nah, time, good. I'm we not going to take it easy on we you, go. okay? We when go. you first came home, I, I was like, damn, how that nigga asked that question? I didn't get to ask that question. But I've been through it, though. Yeah. When I left, okay, when I got myself in a situation, I left, I was gone, I won't say about four months before my old lady was gone. She took my car, she had another nigga driving with my kids inside Not me, inside by of the her. way. No, it wasn't her. Not this me. Was 20 okay. years. This was 20 years. <laughs> yeah. This was past 20 years ago, but it, it yeah. happened, bro. I'm, I, I didn't get to see my kids for a long time, bro. I'm being real. Yeah. And I'm like, if anybody's supposed to be asking these questions, it's supposed to be me, because yeah. I done lived it. Yeah. Am I right? You yeah. heard me talk these stories the whole time. So you go, when last time when you get put away, yeah. go to the feds, how long was it that you, you and, before you and your lady started having problems? Well, actually, bro, you know, I didn't find out to a year before I got out. Probably uh, okay. Like, you know what I mean? Okay. Hold on, now, how so, long were you in there that yeah. time? I was gone four years, you know what I'm saying? But really, it was five years. Yeah. But like, uh, um, the end of the fourth year, I got out, and then I went to the halfway, halfway house. Ain't nobody so, called you and told you. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nobody told me, you know? So, you know, that was uh, three by, so three and a half years, three by three years before I find out, you know what I mean? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know you're going to ask something, but me being a woman, I'm trying to think. So you didn't see no signs? Um, was she keep? She was she calling you, talking to you, visiting I mean, you, all of that? Nah, yeah, she was visiting, you know what I mean? She was visiting. I mean, it's a normal thing. You know, you got people that, that sleep in the bed next to you every day, and you don't know. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly so, right. You know, my mind wasn't looking at that and I wasn't thinking on that you know cause right. I'm like man nigga you know this me you know yeah, my, my kids gonna stay is down this my baby mama you know yeah. pop pop you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. but I'm human she human you know what I mean I don't hate her for it I was sick when I first find out I ain't gonna lie I was sick you know what I mean yeah of course could yeah. eat you could know what I mean you yeah, sick. but I'm glad I found out inside of there because the thing about it off inside of there you know it made me um you can't react the way you want to react. Made you, you stronger. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta. You you can't. You can't avoid it. You gotta face it. Cause that yeah. door locks. So nine o'clock. That how door did locks. you? You how did you find out that that this had happened? And and to be real with you, you I mean, you used to write the letters home. You you do a little art and everything. Yeah, I mean, I didn't you know, do the art, art for the kids. Have, would, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you ain't that really holding it down yeah, yeah, from yeah. the inside. You know what I'm saying? You know as much as I. Because that's I what can, that's what we do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Send the hot, send the kite home, bam, yeah, everything good. Yeah. Next thing you know, somebody come down there, had somebody either wrote you a letter. Nah, yeah, they wrote me. It was one of my ex girlfriends, you know what I'm saying? Uh, one of my ex girlfriends, you know, she was uh, upset when we had split up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then she hit me with a long email like, I just saw your uh, wife in the club, blah, 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 and you, you, you left me for that, and I would have held you down in this. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, man. And then, look, she got mad the way I responded because she thought, I guess she thought I was supposed to respond like, 
man, that's fucked up, fuck that, blah, 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 blah. I was like, look, don't be mad, you know what I'm saying? You can't be mad about some shit, you know what I'm saying, that I'm not going to be mad about. And then I was just like, say, look, we all grown. That's a grown woman shit, what it is, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, everybody make their choices. Hey, you know what I mean? I was dating you while I was married, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, I just grew up, man, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, shit, I, I pushed that shit to the side. So, I guess they didn't expect me to grow. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm glad I did, you know? Did she try to explain herself to you, like... I mean, why, you know, you, you know, know they, not they, at first, you know, you know, it's just like anybody at first when you get busted, you know, it's like, you know, well, then they try to start the argument, you know what I mean? And then you got to keep in mind, shit, I'm in jail. So, yeah. you know, uh, she controls the situation. Mm -hmm. Anybody on the outside control the situation because they can either A, answer the phone or not answer the phone. But I, but Come the first not visit. But the first time when you found out, what was the conversation between you and her? Because when you first found out, did you pick up the phone and call her? Hell yeah. And she didn't know that you knew at that time. Nah, and it was actually like like what about two days before our anniversary? Our anniversary on December fifth. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I found out like probably about December third or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But so, I mean, you know. So I mean, what was that conversation like? Shit, like. Nigga, I was hot, nigga. I'm like, nigga, for real? You know what I'm saying? I heard such and such, such and such. And she denied See, it all. Yeah, because I'm always, I'm cool at first, you know what I'm saying? But it was when she kept denying it that pissed me off. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? That's when I snapped, you know what I'm saying? And then she hung up, you know what I mean? And then so. You know, it's mm -hmm. it, one thing about it, though, uh, you know, what's for you? Can't nobody take it from you. Yeah. If it's really yours. Then it's yours. Hey, well, what was mine is my piece, bro. Bam. You know what I'm saying? That's good. And that's what I realized. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, like I say, I had to lose every single thing off inside of there. You know what I mean? He had to strip me. I already stripped me from all my partners. You know what I'm saying? I lost all that, uh, that 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 security and that 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 um void that was taken away from me. You know what I mean? When I was on pretrial, because I seen how everybody acted when I got out, and they wouldn't answer the phone and stuff like that. So it was kind of easy for me when I went back to jail, because I wasn't expecting nobody. All I expected was my mother, my brothers, and um my wife and kids. You know what I'm saying? And my baby mama. So then. I was still depending on that. So when she did that shit, it just broke it down to where it just opened my eyes up. Like, say, you in this, no matter what, good or bad, you gotta keep moving. So you just gotta know, like, you can expect anything from everybody. And with me knowing and expecting it from everybody, it makes me not be so upset about it when this stuff do happen and it makes me not lose focus. But so. don't it make you, um, cause trusting, especially another female again, and um, it gives you trust issues and you react to certain, uh, yeah, your certain <laughs> trust. I noticed that both of the ones that you wear, one says trust and one says friends. Yeah. With a with line through it. But, so you have no trust. Well, it's, it ain't just that it's no trust, but I, we got to understand that I don't trust you. You know what I'm saying? If we're in a relationship or whatever, you got to understand I don't trust certain situations. It's just... It's just you know, I just don't trust situations. I don't take nothing from you, you know, but it's just like, I'm gonna still live and proceed my life, but when it happened, I expected it, you know? I'm wow. not gonna say like, you know, I didn't expect it because I know it's possible. Very you know possible. what I mean? So I'm not gonna be naive. But don't it make you judge end. certain situations um, yeah, it do, but incorrectly? That's, yeah, that's do, but that's, that's part fine. of PTSD, you know, with any type of yeah. uh, situation. Keep your guards up. You get, Damn yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you've yeah, been damaged, I put you trust, mean trust no one but God on my back, and I was done. Yeah, you know. Then I got, and, you, and then you, then you started slipping. You start thinking you can trust again, and all that, and get married, and have kids, and all this stuff. You just keep going, keep going, because we are made to, you know, God made us for me. This is the way I believe. You know, he he pretty much made us for companionship. So yeah. you want that companion. You long for the companionship. You know what I mean? It's yeah, it's, it's very very. When I when I think about being single and being in that house is very very quiet. Yeah, you, nah, it is. It unless is, you got it kids, is. but yeah, it it's is. quiet. You sitting in there, you get you some can. You don't even have to cook a whole meal either. Yeah. You can get you a can of beans. You don't need no bread. You yeah. just get you some beans, and then you eat your beans and go watch TV. It's very very lonely uh, when you. <laughs> You can you can yeah, run out I mean, of something and you don't mind like I get it tomorrow because I'm just I'm the only one here. Nah, true. Yeah, I'm being real because <laughs> those I'm things went those things happen like you 
you know, people showing up at your house, you happy just to have somebody come by. What, girl, you see them come by? Yeah. Now this is what, <laughs> because that's what companionship does for mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? But then, again, when a chair done broke on you, once you get back in that chair, it never feel the same again. Because nah. you know, you can't yeah. trust it because it'll break again, or you don't want to fall and hurt yourself. Yeah, no, nah, but you know, that doesn't mean that the relationship is tainted forever, you know? Cause like right now I got a good relationship with my baby mama and them, you know what That's I mean? Good. Cause it's for the simple fact, bro. Mine did some shit. Already. You know what I'm saying? So come on, man, shit, you know what I mean? She done forgave me so many times just cause I forgive her. That don't mean we gotta be back together, you know, whatever, but we got kids, bro. She is the mother of my children. Dope. And I gotta respect that. I want my kids to see you know, you're going to respect your, your child's mother, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No matter what it is, because we all make mistakes at a certain point in time. You Man, know what nobody's I mean? perfect. Yeah, ain't nobody perfect. Man. So I don't inflect But it took that. a minute for you to get there. Uh, yeah. yeah, it Hell took yeah. a long minute, you know what I mean? It took a long minute, but I got there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I look at, you know, uh, you and and the way you are, you're, you're very laid back, very... I, you know, you're not looking for no issues. You know what I'm saying? You keep everything at a calm. You know what I mean? Trying to keep peace. Yeah. I look at you and I and and, and you can't fake that this long. Yeah. You know, I've been watching. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> so, understandable. You know, so I'm like, okay, is this guy really this chill? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like he a good dude. You know what I mean? And and I think that's something that the city needs. Yeah. Uh, especially with what with everything that transpired in this whole this whole city did you i gotta bring up chief because he was here last night yeah uh what happened with him down in tyler uh it was uh unfortunate the way it looked can i all right but i but but <laughs> i want to get your interjection on how you feel about the whole situation don't leave nothing out in detail what you I'm think gonna, i'm gonna tell you what i feel you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying i'm not gonna start right there all right god works in mysterious ways you know okay. what i'm saying we all pray and ask for certain things bro these last couple of weeks since y'all have seen Chief, since I've seen Chief, bro has been asking for attention and he's been asking for his respect and his flowers and stuff like that. Right. You know what I mean? And he's been getting some backlash on how people, whatever, trying to, but his name still been getting back out there. It's getting like half people saying, yeah, man, he was a legend. Other half, like he need to chill, but he's still getting spoke about. Oh, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we take it to this, uh, to this finesse thing. You know what I'm saying? Dude, like I say, God work in mysterious ways, bro. Now, this boy, however it look, forget however it look, for bad or for good, whatever. This boy name is being mentioned by the hardest rapper in the industry right now. You know what I mean? It went from 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 the from the fuck him, you know what I'm saying? Goofy ass rapper to the nigga apologizing to being on there saying it was a Dallas legend on the stage and I made a mistake, but y'all don't know the whole backstory. So I look at it like this, bro. That was meant to happen, bro. And Chief mm -hmm. needs to make the best out of that situation. Don't worry about let the cause look, bro, he could damn near look up and never know, might end up getting a free feature from this man for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or at least a one on one face to face. But I know for a fact his name has been spread. So, like I say, he has been praying for, you know what I mean, the opportunity to be heard, to be seen, to be recognized. And it what better way to get recognized, you know what I'm saying, right now, you know what I mean? Oh, so and that's right what now. we told him last, last night. Last night we told we him. We told him, you know, same take like advantage this. of all of this that's going on. Yeah, take advantage of it, bro. And today, I talked to him today as well, but it's just like this: these doors are opening, the views are going up, the yeah. subscribers are going up, the followers are going up. What are you going to do about it? Exactly. That's where I'm at with it. I'm real forceful when it comes down to my people and the people God put in my circle. Like I was talking to you when it before we started, yeah, like yeah. we got to do this, we got to do this because we don't do this. We're missing an opportunity that can change your kids' kids' life. Yeah, yes, sir. And we got opportunity to do that. Not to mention the fact that, uh, you know, once you're gone, the footage, the the, the conversations, you yeah. can't take life for granted. You know yeah. what I mean? Not but just to go that. back into Chief a little bit, Chief, uh, yeah, he's been going through a lot lately with a lot. He... Me and Chief, we have good interviews, man. Yeah. He have me going, man. I love that he don't get bothered easy. He's real. He never changes the way that he speaks. Yeah. And he got a comeback for everything. And <laughs> his comeback would be so slick in the way how he say it. He's something else. <laughs> we had a good time last yeah, night, man. Chief. 
Yeah, I asked him about y'all. Then I asked him about mm-hmm. the about the whole your tongue record and just how it happened from his. And he talked about that last yeah. night. Cause I was like, he's like, I was young man, you know, and I was. What did he say about old oh, Thuggers Ruggers Bone? Mm-hmm. They were hot at the time. And he wanted to make it sound like you know when he sang <laughs> like yeah. them kind of. Yeah. Know? I ain't never heard he that. He had me laughing, man. He, he, he stopped it. Yeah, I'm going to put it out, but he had me laughing, man. Had a good time, man. He just been going through a lot, a lot. You know, I don't think Finesse didn't know who he was, Finesse two times, but like yeah. I said, uh, shout out to East Texas, too, because I'm from down there, and yeah. to be real with you, a lot of them people called me and let me know how they didn't appreciate it, actually. Yeah. A lot of them got in my inbox. A lot of them called me, hey, man. He he shouldn't have done that down here. Um, it's a it, it be it be it be like they going through stuff and you don't know what they going through. But as professional public figures, you got to maintain integrity and morals when you're in the face of the people who love you. Yeah. Just like if you went up there and kicked somebody, you know we know some people have kicked people, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> True, 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 Certain true, things true. you got to hold yourself back from, bro. Nah, I understand. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I, you know, I'm just, I was just looking at it, bro, and like, and I, and you know, I seen one of them on, uh, on another channel, you know, when they were showing the up close of it, and then it seemed like uh, once they told Chief and they told G Hood, and Chief was like, cool, Chief, he gave the mic and said, go on, chill. The DJ kept playing the music, like the DJ was supposed to stop the music by that time, and it rolled for almost another 30 45 seconds and Chief, he's not rapping. He done been gay to mic up, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, then that's when bro, like, shit, y'all, you know. Cut that shit off, you, you know, know what he said. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But what I look at with this, you know, he's, for the main fact he said, well, I don't, I didn't know who he was and stuff like that. I think there is a, a missing gap, like, with the new and the old. I really feel like these new rappers needs to do their research and know, especially where Dallas, if you in the city, if you're in Texas, you need to know these legends. But you can't know yeah, everybody. You, that's what I'm about to say. Like, you got to keep in mind, this man right here been locked up for however many years. Now, he just came out. He going city for city every night. I ain't taking up for Fene. I'm just saying he's going, I'm an I'm artist, so I know mm-hmm. you go city from city every night. You don't remember, or you don't even have time to even ask where we at. Sometimes you might... Like, dang, what city we in before you get on stage? You got to ask, hey, what city we in? So you don't say the wrong city, you know what I mean? I know I was just in Dallas, this Tyler. Let me make sure, you know what I mean? So you don't always know. You don't even, and really, we don't even know who performing, who opening up for us. Mm. Like, out of 90% of the shows that I go to, I don't know who opening up for me. I just show up at the venue, you know what I mean? And then I come in when it's my time to perform. Some of them I don't even see, you know what I'm saying? I, I think groovy is what my boy uh, Chief say. It's groovy, hell. So it ain't really just no big deal to him anyway. Yeah. That nigga ain't know my music, you know what I'm saying? He ain't know me, so it wasn't for me. Yeah. That's how he be chilling up in here like <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, but, you know, he ain't trying to hear all that. He's so... He's so above the situation. That's what I like about him. He ain't trying to hear that, man. Yeah. And he's talented. You talented, man. You can't take nothing away from my legend. You can go on with that, nigga. This Texas, yeah. nigga. Yeah. And I'll be the building. You're, this shit never gave me no mic around this hoe. Nigga, yeah. we winning. You're, Big facts. But I just love the fact that you guys are, are, are finding your way, you know, because a lot of people done laid it down. They ain't yeah. messing with this no more. They can't understand the algorithm of the way that the social media is being being uh, uh, accomplished. They can't understand even old comedians. We deal with them too, old actors. They can't get get it over on this side. Yeah. They, they, they got talent but they don't understand how to convey it over to the social media platforms and waves. Like before Will slapped, I always said before he slapped Chris, he had it going on. You know, you seen him, he was harder than everybody on Instagram. Wasn't nobody yeah. harder than Will Smith on yeah. Instagram before he slapped Chris Rock. But at the end of the day, he had found that wave and he was dealing with the, you know, ta- the red tabletop. Mm-hmm. over there on Facebook so yeah. they was figuring it out man it's something to it that's all I keep saying I gotta say that so my listeners especially my, my brothers and sisters will hear it you know what I'm saying yeah. you gotta figure this thing out so uh, another subject gotta talk about this you know I'm asking you about everything that's going on in the news yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Zero all right. Zero's uh, in Houston just a few weeks ago and uh, love Zero love Trey this is Texas um, they've been going through some things. It ends up spilling onto the news. Well, you know, 
Zero was on TMZ, I believe. Hell, he was on uh, a couple of those shows, you know, yeah. um, explaining what happened. First, he comes out and he says, hey, man, you know, uh, they jumped me. And then Trey comes out and said, no, nah, they ain't jumped me. Uh, I, we, it wasn't like that, you know. Uh, you know, we just, you know, had a, that's family and all that good stuff. What do you, I, I got two questions for you. What do you think about that? And the second part of that question is, how do you come back from that? On Zero's part. Honestly, fam, um, of course I hate it. Because I know Definitely Trey. Definitely hate I mean, it. I, I know Trey. I'm Me like too. I'm a real good friend with Trey. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't really know Zero as much, but I have been around him. But I really don't even want to speak on the issue because, like, straight up, you don't know what, you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know enough. You know, I, yeah, I watched, I seen the video. You know what I'm saying? Or parts of the video. But I don't know what you know what I'm saying? What that, what, like, like, I did see all interviews that both of them said it was 10 years to 12 years of build up. So, man, yeah. you don't know what I'll You don't know what so the heck is behind. Yeah, I don't know what was said, what would happen, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't want to speak on it. I don't even want to give my opinion. I just know okay. I do hate it. I don't, I don't hate I, it. I, I, I hate to see them, you know what I'm saying, going through it. What about? At the end of the day, uh -oh. don't hold in things for that long because whenever you do explode, it's going to yeah. be a big explosion. It's be and a that, big one. that's any situation. I'm not just talking about yeah. that situation, I'm talking about everything relationships, um, friendships, whatever. Just don't hold it in, really. Yeah, for real. That's real. Um, but as far as coming back from it, I will say, because you ain't speaking on it, but that's something a rapper is made up to be this crazy image in certain situations. Well, and well, well, you mean how he can come back from being jumped? Like being no, come like, back for, as far as his, for yeah, his for people his and all. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's what, image, yeah. See, that's the thing about it. Like, in his situation, you know what I'm saying, he got jumped. You know what I'm saying? So he already up. If if it's one of them comebacks, you know what I'm saying? Because the, the average person gonna be like, ah, oh, he didn't get a fair fade anyway, so that don't mm -hmm. count. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So he put so some he music have, out that is yeah, gonna stand in integrity. Through. Yeah, because otherwise, you know, it's gonna have to go a, another way. You know what yeah, I mean? And yeah. that's not the that's not the you. We both know what comes from that. Mm -hmm. Correct. So correct. his best thing is just to continue working. You know, continue I mean? working. Continue working. He should put know? something out now because, for the main fact, even if it does not talk about the situation, yeah. people gonna feel like it will. So everybody's gonna be looking out and like, oh, he that's just right. dropped something. Let me go see if he's talking about it. What yeah. what happened? Yeah. And he I mean? definitely gonna rock out because he don't miss. Mm -hmm. yeah. He don't miss. Yeah. And, and and it's unfortunate, but this is the life we live in. The internet. As soon as somebody, now, and we're gonna talk about P P M B. Is his name? Yeah. And right, and, right, and, right, and I, right, I, I, I peace. peace. Yeah. Rest in peace. You know, uh, bro. This one thing. I don't mean to stop you, bro. But peep this, bro. This industry, bro. This generation, bro. Uh, I just want to say this, bro. This is like one of the saddest uh, times that I've seen because I've never seen so many people want to die so easily or mm -hmm. not want to live so uh, wow. so bad. And the only reason I say that because look, bro, uh, what Jay Z said not too long ago it's like, what this like fifty years of hip hop we've been going through fifty years of hip hop. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take this fifty years of hip hop, and I guarantee you, over the last two years, we have lost more hip hop artists over the last fifty years. From death, sure. you know what I mean? From killings, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, we might have lost one, two, five. Bro, we're losing one every week, you know? And we get on here and we talk shit, you know, about when the cops kill us, you know what I'm saying? All these rappers that's been dying ain't been no cop killing, you know what I'm saying? You know, all, all these, this is us doing us, mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, and it's not, it, it's just... It's fucking sad, bro. Very you know, sad. it's sad. You know, and it's hard to, and, and 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 really, I don't even know how you can really even fix it. You know, it's like they have to get a reset, a mindset reset, bro. Because the way that they thinking, what they glorify, what they think is the real, what they think is the gangster, is the complete opposite, and they crashing, bro. You know, they crashing bad, and it's hard because they in an age like you say, where we can get these thirties and forty and hundred thousands a month off Facebook and YouTube and these little guys are doing it. You know what I mean? So how do you tell somebody who got, you know, even even when I be out here with these young niggas on the street, how you tell somebody who got a hundred ball in their pocket just to play with, you know what I mean, and do this. Yeah, that. they're gonna look at you like you ain't got what I got, so Exactly. How you can tell me anything. Exactly. Oh, I don't need you to tell me nothing, nigga. I'm mm -hmm. getting it. I'm even getting if you it. do got what I got. Exactly. Um you you right about that. But everything happens for a reason. It's on time. You know, we can't control life. We can't. The only thing you can control is yourself. I always say well, that. Well, nah. but how how nah. much do you do you blame drill music and all of that? Nah. Man, I just I ain't, bro. 
like I say, the music. Because music impacts a lot. Yeah, music. Yeah, but the music was just, the, it didn't yeah. impact everything. When 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 Pimp when Pimp C was saying he was a he, pimp pimping, when when Too Sharp was saying you know calling every girl a bitch, you know what I'm saying? It didn't change the narrative and make every girl a bitch. It you didn't, know? but it made a lot of more yeah. people go out there and call women bitches. No, no, not really. They was already doing it. They was already doing it. it just got publicized. It was just fans said the way they said it. Hell, these niggas ain't yeah. changed. They, the Bible saying nothing new under the sun. I really believe that. Yeah. I don't think it's nothing so new. I really don't. Because they was killing like a mug back <laughs> when they was, nah, when they was doing the NWAs right. and when the they Spice was and, you know, it was gangbanging real hard. But, like, at that time, the violence, the crime was high. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Rodney so, King, you remember his incident? By the, he got hit by the laws, but it was yeah. more people dying during that time. With David Koresh, it's always been killings, man. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff to be going on, man. I, I just really think the county's not getting no better. I don't know where, but how do we live and survive in a way to where we can end up, impact something like Martin Luther King them did, to where people change the way the narrative and start trying to flow? Malcolm X did, where you grab a whole group, a nation of people, and start to move and maneuver them in a way that there is a change happening. That's really important. Yeah, but that start like with creating the narrative. That's yeah. like what she's saying is. Um like sometimes with the music, that's what had to happen. Somebody has to create a narrative with the music because right now that's what's getting listened to more than somebody getting spoke to. So. We are the world. Y'all ain't yeah. did no exactly. we are the world, Lucha, or nothing. Nah, nothing. Y'all, nah, y'all, nah. It, it, it's over with. Nobody even listen to slow music no more. It's disgusting. No. And, and and to be honest, that's a lot of the reason. It, it seems to be going faster because that damn music is boom, 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 boom. boom. Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the day, there's no chill. I'm happy about the ones who be singing with the pain, like the the Reds, the Shun, yeah. the Rod Waves. Now, for a change, because hell, at least they is trying to get some therapy within the stuff that they're saying. Because Bro, it's a <laughs> lot of great artists out there. It's just the certain ones that's getting that's getting glorified and get put in the front. You know, that's mm -hmm. how that is. It's a it's a lot. It's a lot of like you say, like even with the singing, it's a lot of the good R and B artists out there. But you won't hear them. You won't hear that's them. That's not what's in demand. But how do you know it's not in demand? You know what's the like? I don't know, man. Why not be the change? Why yeah. not? Yes, you're gonna go through a lot of issue because whoever first started something, they didn't just get up and say, "Okay, I'm gonna create rap today, and I'm just gonna come out here and I'm gonna blow it, and everybody gonna love it." Mm -hmm. It's gonna take so much time because I guarantee you, when rap first came about and people listened to it, what's that? No, let me tell you how it happened. See, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> um, I, I was in the like living room else. in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, that wasn't the first time yeah, it came yeah, out. Yeah, it was the first I time I heard it. And that was it the really, first time you heard it, but it, was it wasn't not the first popular. time it came You know out. what I'm saying? Nobody was rapping. The Fat Boys, you had the Fat Boys, yeah, well, you might have had a couple of different groups, and it was just Run DMC, the Fat Boys, and the Sugar Hill Gang, and, and Curtis Blow. It wasn't many of them, and I was there. That's all I wanted to say. And at the end of the day, um, it started off pumping, baby. And then next thing you know, Eric B and Rakim came. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. D-Nice came. Yeah, you Boogie what Down I'm Production saying? came. I understand, I understand what you're All saying. All I'm saying is, don't sit up here and act like this rap. It, it's, it's a part of it, but people have issues. When you have broken homes like we've had, mothers and fathers not in the home, people going to prison, all type of stuff, uh, uh, the, the government ties where they, they basically, the DA, what, is, what was that old boy named down there, the one that got all them people out of out of jail that was falsely accused the DA down there, I don't forgot his Somebody name. Somebody in Houston? No, here in Dallas, uh, years a few years back. It was, uh, one. matter of fact, the, the, the old girl down there had got the stove with one of them that got out. But I wasn't talking about the fact that it was rap. I'm talking about change takes time. That's really what my point was. Change takes time, and it takes somebody standing up. And not, it's not going to happen over time. It, yeah. it takes you doing it, doing it, when people looking at you and be like, what you doing? Why are you doing that? That ain't nothing. You need to go sit down. It takes you standing up and saying, you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep doing this till other people follow because this is positive. So, yeah. Pete, what you saying then? I want to speak to you about that. Like, look, that's what, all right, you know, they get the, the, the topic about me with the music around here in mm -hmm. the city, okay? Look, I do music. No, I love music, you know what I mean? But the type of music that I do, ain't nobody doing right now. 
and ain't nobody gonna take the risk to do it right now. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I got this Triple D Go album, you know what I'm saying? It's a three part series and all of them are D's, you know what I'm saying? Each one stands for something else, but this first one is Demonstrate, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You have to, you have to step out and show people, hey, you can get it this way too. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's all I'm going to say I about like that. that. So it's like, if I don't do it, you know what I mean? It's going to, I give up. Yeah. But, and you can't give up. You, you, know you have to know that there's a higher purpose of what you're doing. And no matter yeah. what people saying, even sometimes the people that you love, sometimes the people that you respect might be trying to put you down. Yeah. But you, if you know that whatever is God's purpose, you just got to keep pushing. Craig Watkins was his name. That's who it is. He helped get a lot of people out of jail. And all of them, prison. Yeah. They were falsely accused. They was putting fake drugs, all kind of stuff, when he got to be the DA down there. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I'm just saying, it's a lot of different things that causes our generational gaps that we deal with. It, it, it's not just rap. It's, 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 it's mothers and fathers. You know what I mean? It's, it, it goes back. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. In my eyes, it's something that trickled down from different generations. I can remember my granddaddy and my grandmother and then them going to the courthouse but standing outside and wouldn't go in. And they didn't even feel comfortable. I still to this day don't feel comfortable when you go in certain settings. Yeah. You have to force yourself to try to feel a way when you're in these certain settings because you know how the stereotype is on us. Yeah. I know when you went to that court, you didn't feel comfortable. Nah. Felt very uncomfortable. Nah. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Because you know already it's not it's not FUBU, it's not for us by us. It's got the scale in there. The scale is uneven. Shit, you know I damn well you, you ain't gonna get a fair trial with that scale being uneven. Shit so crazy. I go into the courthouse just to go get the DBA shit and feel out. You know what I'm saying? See feel what I'm awkward. saying? That's you know exactly I mean? right. That's so, true. And I went in there for some good shit. Good stuff. But it just still felt That's like, real. Man, damn, I used to report back over there. That's real. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, just different shit. So, yeah, I understand completely. That's all I'm saying, man. We just got a long road ahead. And we got to try to figure out a way to, like I say, not just, you might can't change the world, but you can change your world. The things that you're talking about doing and implementing can change some lives in front of you. Yeah. Us walking a certain way in front of people can change lives in that, that's around us. People who come on the podcast, people ask me about different people coming out. He on drugs, he on this. But me and my wife been married for 20 years. I don't do nothing. I'm just yeah. as lame as they come. And I got to show that to you. You know, I'm squared up over here. I did a lot of that stuff. So I think that's, that's the kind of stuff that helps. You know what I mean? Yeah. Without, you don't have to say it. You have to be it. I got a question. Um, so what are the other two Ds? What does it mean? I'll let you know when they come out. <laughs> you're so wrong. <laughs> Let's first one, demonstrate, though. Okay, you know so the I'm first saying? one is demonstrate. So if you're not letting everybody know, um, can you tell me what date, like what months, we're going to find out the rest of these? Uh, As they drop. So you don't it's know, you don't drop. have a... You know what I'm saying? You know, because it's three, like I say, it's a... It's Where a did you get these, the inspiration for, the, the, um, for this from? Um... Man, like, believe it or not, since, like, like um, all my names have been getting given to me, everybody, you know, this, 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 like, so when I, since I've been home and I've been doing it, I've been working and steady going, and just, that's what people come to me and they give me and give me that and give me that, and that's what they tell me. And so when I thought about this Triple D Goat album, I was thinking of, you know, when I mean Triple D Goat, I'm not just talking about the music side of it, you know what I mean? I know I'm a great artist, you know what I mean? But it's way more that I put and invest into the city than the music, you know what I mean? I'm talking about stuff behind closed doors that I never talk about. I was the just about to stuff. ask if you want to talk about it. Yeah, no, I'm say, just saying like even investing yeah. in artists, you know what I mean? Helping other artists, doing this for other artists and shit. These artists know what I do for them behind closed mm -hmm. doors, but I don't go put it on uh, um, uh blast to hey hey i did this charity work for this artist or did this for this artist and stuff like that or invested this time in this artist i don't do that i invest the time in the artist and keep working you know but some of them i really feel like um some you should show because then for the main fact that other artists who's watching you know that okay i can come to him and get advice or i can come to him and get help because you have people who will see your walk and see you and want to come to you but scared to come to you well, as I move, every, I mean, maybe, but uh, honestly, uh, Miss Jamaica, 
they ain't scared to come to me. I'm everywhere. I'm out there. They know every Thursday I got the club. Every Thursday and Saturday people come to the club and perform. You know, me and Stack Mo Fats and Prelo. We what got club, the club is that? It's the Dive on 75, you know. Okay. Uh, run that every Thursday, you know what I mean? Dope. Do, we do the uh, well. We let the artists come in there and perform. The ones that that that, that we do contests where I take them on the road and open up, or we do contests like the last two weeks. Uh, like this week, we give away a music video from a, a, a well-known videographer. Dope. So every week we doing something to help the artists. You know, whether it's studio time, features, whatever, we working with them. And these artists know. And in my inbox, they inbox me. I respond. Um, they see we on the street. I take the time. I don't care where I'm at, who I'm with. You know. They know they gonna touch me. They gonna reach me. You know they. I'm out there. So since you're out there and you've seen all these artists, the new upcoming artists, it, is there someone that we need to be um, in tune with that yeah, you it's, see? It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. You know. Just I name me one. Like, name that main one, one that you right. know. You see some. I have to say, Lil Q nine hundred. Why? You talking about? I, I have to say, yeah, the one I was telling you about. And Why just him? Because because what we was just talking about, another artist stepping outside the box, doing something else, and the boy is talented, you know? And he doesn't only just do the rapping, he does the singing, you know? And he reminds me more of like a young blue. Um, he's, he got a soul, he got a sound that, you know, it just it just touch you, and it's different, you know? And he's creative, and he ain't on no, what, what everybody want to say, drill music, mm -hmm. or on this dumb, dumb stuff, you know? He, he's making good feel good music what we used to listen to you know something you just get in there and just just vibe out you two can ride you know my mama can listen to and ride you know what i'm saying stuff like that and there's not too many artists that's making crossover music you know what i mean and and and, and doing it so well what would, would you tell an artist like that i'm just giving a scenario because i don't know him but say an artist like that who want to do all of that but they want to see the money coming in at the same time. And because it's not such a popular thing to do, they're not getting all the streams, they're not getting the money built up real quick to help feed their family and all of that. Because that's the reason why a lot of people usually drift to what's trending right now, because that's where the money's at. What can, right, what can you tell him in order for him to stay down with, you know, be real to himself? All right, this is not only what I tell him, this is what I showed him, you know what I mean? I show a lot of people. Y'all know when I came home, I had nothing not a dollar, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to do that album, but in order for me to do that album, I need finances, and as a man, I needed to be able to take care of myself. Right. I worked and a your job, kids. And, my, and my kids, I worked a job, Our nine man. to five, for a whole year and a half straight, and I didn't stop, and even once I dropped the album, I kept working, I didn't stop until my PO said, you free to go on the road and do shows and get other money, but I knew I had to provide for myself, so I worked a job. So like I tell these other artists, you're not recording every single day. I don't care how hard you is. You ain't in the studio every single day recording. You got open time, so what you need to do is you still have to survive as a man, you know? You still have to be able to take care of yourself. It's not a shame to work a job. Don't have too much pride to do what you have to do till you can do what you want to do. If you sit inside that studio and you think that you're just going to wait until that big hit come and all the money's going to flood, you're done. You know what I mean? Because even like um, like like one of them asked me the other day, like, hey, how 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 uh how soon does the money start coming in off the right. streams? You know what I'm saying? He was like, because, you know, it's been out how long it started coming out the streams. And I, I laugh. I say, shit, boy, only if you knew. I say, look, I pulled up my streams and showed them my streams, and I'm getting hundred thousands of streams, and I'm just showing them, hey, look, how many streams you got to get to make this much. Hmm. You know what I mean? This, 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 you know what I mean? You almost, Different world. Yeah. You almost 180, 200,000 streams for $100. That's you know right. what I'm saying? So, uh, and that's you discouraging ain't that. for a lot of people. Yeah, but like I tell them, I don't stick on that music. You know what I mean? That's why I work with the club. That's why I do the liquor. That's why I do the clothes. That's why I do every fucking anything else that I can make happen. Because you do not put all your eggs in one basket. You do this music. You do it to the fullest, but you still have to provide as a man for yourself and your family at the end of the day. When you said that, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to let you do it. Really? But um, we were in Atlanta recently, and everywhere we walked downtown, um, on every little trash can or wherever, you saw a sign with money bag, yo, and it said, the quote was, a nine-to-five job isn't corny. 
um, what's the other part? He said, nine to five job isn't corny. It's um, not working or something like that. Yeah. It's corny. Yeah, for because real. Because a lot of people feel like, you know, it's corny, you know, being a nine to five guy. Why? You know what I I'm don't saying? know. I, I, I used to think that back in the day. I'm not lying. I used to think that. But after being in that jail, bro, and working for uh, nine cents an hour, you know what I'm saying? And doing this every day, you realize, damn. Like I say, bro, you're not in the studio every day. You don't do a concert every single day. Okay, mm -hmm. and then do less. Let's look at this. If you do want to only do the music, right? All right? You can still press CDs, and you have to go out there and sit on that corner, right? Bro, all right? The average worker is making anywhere from 10 to $15 an hour, bro. You got CDs, bro. Sell them $5 a piece. If you could sell two CDs an hour, you could be, you could work minimum wage. So if you go out there for and then sell, say a quota, a hundred dollars an hour, like you, I mean, hundred dollars a day, like you would as a job. You know, you could still stay in your music, but you know, you just can't sit and wait for that. I don't give a fuck who you is. I don't agree, sit and wait I agree for that nothing. hundred percent. Don't sit and wait. Um, you know me, I got to go back into uh, subjects that's happening. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Show. Talk to me. Talk to me. Um. That was your uh, your names came up a few times as you already well know. Yeah, um, you uh, was asked a question on another show. I ain't gonna say the nigga name. <laughs> no, <laughs> mogul media. Man. Let me quit. <laughs> no niggas be doing me like that. Yeah, Shout out Vlad, yeah, nigga. Yeah. You know, yeah. I ain't gonna say his name. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I guess I will. Yeah, right. mogul me. That's my boy, Big D the mogul. Yeah, sure. but at any rate, uh, I told him to quit messing with you over there. Y'all interview. Hey. He's intensifying interviews every day. That's my. That's my. That's, that's my guy though. I, you know, I like him a lot I, as well too. You know, I I I, I fought with anybody that, that can think outside the box. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. So, like, you okay. know, it is what it is. He asked you a question about yeah. uh, would you do music with certain artists? Uh, Yellow Trap. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he said Bobby Billions, but I know uh, your name came up on the show, yep. and you. It was like when I talked to Rain. It was like, hey, you know, uh, you shouldn't do music with nobody. If yeah. you, you know, you you know, you're old rapper. You should be uh, a start seat, a label. Uh, start a label. Yeah, uh, br bridge the gaps pretty much from a different distance. You know, now now and and when he said that, it was like I feel you. You know, but. I think you know you always gonna rebut some, so you probably see it some no one else. But yeah. at any rate, um, just you being in the game, how long do you plan on doing this? Uh, is there a, is there an ending point, or do you feel you even have to get out the game? You know, no. far as uh, you know, the entertainment go. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Quincy Jones did his music till he died. You Quincy know what Jones I'm saying? did. Well, I, well, I don't know. <laughs> well, see, that's what I'm saying. He's still going. I don't know. I just know the nigga old as hell. You know what I'm saying? He's still around, old, bro. He's an old-ass musician, if that's what we looking at. You know what I mean? I this is one thing I don't understand. If you look at inside of our industry, I'm going to ask all them questions, but when it comes to the age factor inside of no other, industry, no other genre of music has an age cap on it except hip-hop. Hip why can these old rock band uh, motherfuckers keep riding around today, 90 years old, doing shows? Why can these old country music still do this? Why can the R&B people, why can Ronald Isley and them still go out here? Some of them can't even hold a tune no more. I went to one with my mama not too long ago, and it was, it was you know, but they still being able I know to go out here and do about. this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, okay, I'm not saying their name. Yeah. We can't say their yeah. name. But all I'm saying <laughs> They my niggas, though. Why I'll buy that ticket? Still <laughs> able to go out here and do this, you know what I'm saying? Because they have loyal it's fans. It's a problem, exactly. So why is it a problem if I'm just forget it? I'm not trying to gain on new fans. What if I'm just keeping my loyal fans happy? Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Forget the money. What if I'm just keeping my loyal fans happy? You know? All right, look, I just got booked uh, out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Keep in mind. If I stop working, you know, just say if I came home, I wasn't doing nothing. You know, and and, and why were everybody talking about me rapping, bro? Keep in mind, bro, I only been rapping a year since I came home. I only dropped my, uh, when I first came home, I didn't do nothing for a year. I gave my kids a straight year. You know what I'm saying? Then I said, I dropped my album April 21st of 2021. From that point, I start rapping and doing videos. Bro, I only been messing around since April. You know what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? And I been doing some shit. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, um, Man, I just, I'm just looking at it like, bro, this shit just, it just don't make no sense how someone can tell you that your time, it's time for you to stop, man, you know? 
Can't nobody you, tell You was about me. to tell me about something that happened and where you... Oh, yeah, yeah, damn. Thank you. That's why I lost <laughs> that. Look, all right. Say I stopped working, bro. I've been working. I dropped this shit. Dropped this shit. Steady dropping shit, bro. Get on people's radar. Why somebody called me last Wednesday like, Looch, bro, uh, you on our radar, bro. Uh, we got this West Coast Ice Cube tour. Are you allowed? Can you make it to Kentucky in, 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 in one night? You know what I mean? We're going to send you money, everything. We want you to open up. It's Bone Thugs, uh, Ice Cube, and Cypress Hill. You know what I'm saying? 8,000 people arena. Wow. That's love. Hell yeah, I'm on my way. That's you know love. what I'm saying? But if I'm an old ass rapper not fin not trying to work, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, nah, bro, I ain't trying to do that. Why would I stop, bro? So what I did was I went and did that. Bam, look what that did. That opened up a door. I got to rock in front of 7,600 people. I gained new fans, and as well, they booked me for an extra four to five shows. You wow. know what I'm saying? Which I get a 25-minute set, which now I have a budget, which now when I go back out, I'm taking the artist with me. Wow. You That's feel beautiful. me? But if I'm not out there rapping, I can't put people in position. You know what I mean? I can't start a label and push people if I don't have finances to invest inside of them. That's true. So it's the same way as that nine to five that I'm working. I'm still working a nine to five. I just switched it from working to them for working for me. But the, all the paper that I make in this, I take back and I invest right back into it. Could have been bought chains, could have been do these type of things. But no, I'm investing right back into it, investing right back into the other artists, you know what I mean? Because I have a vision, you know? And it's a lot of people out there. I'm not, and I got a team. I'm not just alone. Like my bro, Stack Mo with me right now, my brother Jap, you know, Doski. Like we working and, and, and we invest into these artists, bro. You know what I mean? With nothing to look back except for helping the city get on. But if I'm not in the field with them, how can I help them? You know what I mean? They ain't trying to follow. Yeah, they ain't trying to listen to old ass niggas that ain't out here trying to help with them. And I heard him say, you're not supposed to fuck with both. You know what I mean? It was like, Chief said, fuck them all. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said. Yeah, he said, Chief say, fuck them all. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Rainwater. I never say nothing bad about Rainwater. I'm going to tell you why. But Chief didn't fuck with neither one of them. He didn't fuck with neither one of them when they was in there anyway. So why would he try to fuck with them now? Because he didn't fuck with them then. So it's different. Like, well, a lot of people don't know, they messing with these niggas off of music. I met Yellow when he was 10 years old, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yellow father passed away. When Yellow father passed, his mama called. This is when I had the My Life Blue, Blue CD out. She called the phone on the, uh, on the CD saying, hey, look, my son just my, my son just lost his father. Him and his brother, they sad over here. You one of his favorite artists, you know what I mean? Can you come by here? And uh, meet my son. This is when they stay right on Oats in Mesquite. Yeah. I said, yeah, I'll come by there. But see, at this time, I'm young. I'm high-headed. I'm not really knowing what it means. So I stand them up. I don't go. Man, she mm. called me back and get on my ass, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Next yeah. day, she called me back like, you got me fucked up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? My son, you going to do my son like this, blah, 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 blah. Man, I went straight over there. That's when I met Yellow. So from Yellow being 10 years old to I got him. I went and picked him and his little brother up. Now I picked him up. Took him to the studio. That's when Crystal Blue had a studio over there on 30. But at 10, was he doing music yet? Nah, no. but he wanted, okay. to, do he wanted to, do to do music. So I took him to the studio, oh, okay. let him see us record, mm -hmm. ride around in the van with us and different type of stuff. And from that moment, me and him had a relationship. Mm -hmm. And that growed until where it's at right, right now. now. Now, let's fast let's forward go. down the line. I meet Mo3 10 years later, 10, 11 years later. You know what I mean? So it's already a completely different Type of relationship. Type of relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is this, and and this is another thing, bro. Like, all I'm saying is this, bro. I I, I did, I, I, just like I'm speaking freely with you, I'm speaking freely with y'all. Y'all know Mo3, fam. You know what I'm saying? Y'all saw when bro say, ain't nobody try to help with a straight face. Correct. Nobody tried to help. No questions asked. Mm -hmm. Bro, how can you say? You but I told him pretty much that you may have helped and he wasn't even around because you had your own relationship with him. Take me out of it. Take me out of it. Say he say say I didn't try to help. You can't tell me that nobody else in the city tried to help. I can name 10 people myself right now that I know for a fact that tried to intervene on that situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To, to dead them boys from DJ Wire here to like you say hit that to Bay Bay to my partner Worm free my bro Worm that's locked up. You know what I'm saying? So and this is another thing bro. I and did Sean my interview. Cotton, he told me that. Sean Cotton, all right? I did my interview. You know Jay what I'm Prince. saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, Jay yeah. Prince. He said Jay yeah. Prince. So I did my interview, right? I did my interview with Real Life, you know, yeah. when, I, when, yeah. I, when mm -hmm. I first came home. Mm -hmm. And I said on there, man, I called one of them. I said, I tried to, when I came home, I called them both. I talked to one of them and said this. I talked to the other one and said this. You know what I mean? 
We and I told him, bro, and, I, and on this video I said I told him, you know, I fuck with both of y'all just like I did. We know Mo three. If I did not call Mo three and say that shit, and he saw that interview, that nigga gonna get on that motherfucking. First, he gonna go live. Oh, that mm -hmm. nigga. Mm -hmm. Bitch ass nigga, you know you ain't call me to motherfucking try to uh, squash no shit, that nigga. Matter of fact, nigga, I'm finna go in on you. And then yeah. he gonna drop a record on me. Mm-hmm. Cause he <laughs> he not finna let a nigga play with his nah. name. So if these come and that wasn't the only interview I did speaking on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, bro, if if people thought and and, 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 and niggas they didn't even ask the court, he didn't even understand the question Big D asked. Big D asked. Would you be open if these guys called and asked you, if the LB called and asked you to do a feature, would you be open to do a feature with him? He kept that clip, but at the rest of the clip, if you listen to past that where I said, yeah, I do it, but then I said, but at the end of the day, a song is just a song. Like I would tell him, what are we gonna do about the city though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't put that part off in there. He just cut it where I said, yeah. So I Big do D sabotaged the footage. No, he just sabotaged the footage. <laughs> he, did, he, dro he dropped the whole thing eventually. Saying, yeah, he dropped the whole thing. But he just clipped thing, it. But he clipped it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know clickbait. It, yeah, I mean, yeah, I understand yeah. That's why I'm not tripping on the interviews because I know where I stand for and where I come from. You could twist it however you want, but the truth is going to be the truth regardless. That's right. So, but if people are interested in the truth, they should go watch the full interview and see everything. People, uh, attention spans, not that. They don't want to see the Thank truth. you. Sometimes God, like, I'm, I'm sick of these niggas in my comments. Day. Quit getting in my yeah. comments. You heard what Lou Diamond said. Nah. You niggas know you ain't gonna watch for two hours just for the hell of it, so stop playing, nigga. They don't. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Nah, I'm they thank don't. you, Lou. Nah, they These don't. These niggas is in my comments. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just saying. I wish y'all could see is. one of you niggas in my comments. That's just that, what man. it is, man. But you're telling the truth. People don't watch like that. And I try to tell other people that been on my platform that when I first started, but nobody wanted to hear it. Everybody was, I'm like, whatever, dude. I, that's why I own the, my name Tad Al, nigga, around this hole. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> Yeah, but I no, know. I think I think um, what happened, as I always say to everybody when they sitting in these seats, um, no healing. Everybody just running, running, running. Dry. But there's no healing. There's no conversations where we open up about these things. You know what I mean? It's all the time. We're just basically we're on our mission. We got family. We got kids. Uh, you know what? What you call that? PTSD. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that 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 right there is setting in because you ain't gonna talk to nobody because you're running around doing everything you can to keep busy so you don't have to think about it. Which you just pacifying the situation because it ain't going nowhere. It's just laying dormant. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, even when I talk to Rain, I always tell him the whole time after Mo Three Pass, you still running, 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 trying to figure things out, running. No rest. You know, they're not telling them that everybody, you, you come home, boom, you running, 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 trying to take care of your boys, trying to. I it, rested though. Yeah, but you still, you working. You yeah, going to work, working, you doing yeah. your thing. But I know how it is to come home before Christmas and you know you can't go out because it, how would it look for me selling? What am I celebrating? My kids don't have nothing for Christmas or Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? So there's a place where you can't even think straight. You know what I'm saying? So it's a perplexed place to be. Even though you might be home, your mind, for me, my mindset was I got to get my stuff together. I let my family down. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't yeah. even been in here. I'm smarter than all these niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Being real. So just coming home and just dealing with life, it's impactful to be locked up for four or five years and then come back and just, I'm gonna get this done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's doable, but God, all things are possible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be challenges. This yeah. boss talk one on one, baby. Yeah, they getting there. <laughs> nah, you guys yeah. gotta be strong. We brothers, man. Shit, that, but it's, it, yeah, strong and growth. You know what I mean? And a lot of the stuff that, like, like, it, like with my bro Rain, bro Rain is real good at what he do, man. He's Definitely. Really one of the best that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I never say nothing bad about Rain. You know what I mean? I think he's misunderstanding what, what, what I got going on, and it's understandable because everybody's not supposed to see your vision and understand what you got going on. So I accept that. But That's right. The situation where I am is that. You all also keep in mind, I am an older person. So, bro got a couple of years. He got some years on me in the music industry on what he knows, but he has some years in growing and mm -hmm. understanding on this side. You know what I'm saying? As far as what it's going to actually take to help heal the city. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As far as being a person that can go on all sides. You know what I mean? Because as of right now, 
I can go on all sides, bro. And if people really felt like I was fucking choosing sides or doing something like that or picking one person over another, bro, I wouldn't be able to go out there in the cliff and fuck with them boys or out there at what, what was Eddie and all these other people if they feel like I'm riding with the other side or if they see me uh, 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 uh even like uh, fucking, I thought I did an interview uh, last week. I did something with Chris Go. You know what I mean? Sean yeah, G, Sean, yeah, Sean, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, Sean. I G didn't watch my brother. He called me. Yeah. Said, "Man, Lu, he said, Mr. Lucia, stand up guy. He decided to, you know, get off or something." Oh yeah, no, nah, I ain't from the play all that. They start talking to me like I say. Sean G called on there, but but, but I was saying if Sean G like that's Mo three right hand. You know what I'm saying? If Sean. It, Sean G wouldn't have called me and said, bro, appreciate you keeping my little bro name alive while you out there if you felt like I was on some fuck shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? See, when you move, it's the energy that you move with, bro. You know what I mean? You ain't got to say nothing. It's the energy that you move with. And when people know your energy is right, bro, you can walk anywhere, you know? But, yeah, man, they got, uh, I got on there, man, man, so let's go talk about some shit, man. That's my, my boy, video, though, man. That's but, my boy. But they got on there, start telling me <laughs> to suck dick and shit. Really? And I was like, you know what? Hey, y'all too, y'all too real for me. I'm going to get up off this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. Nah, I ain't that's like the that. that's he always tell me he like the overnight hurrah though he he go in Same. at night <laughs> for real he do get weird he do get weird hey but look this one thing about rain I want to say this about rain well, I yep. say I never say nothing yep. about rain bro rain did something rain saved me from crashing you know what I mean like uh, not too long ago you know what I mean really? so some shit happened uh, a motherfucker said some shit about me right you know what I mean I seen the interview I seen some shit motherfucker said some shit about me rain me hot. You know what I mean? Ran me hot. I call Rain. I'm like, Rain, blah, say, blah, blah, say, blah. I'm say, man, you know what? Fuck that shit, bro. I'm finna respond. I send him the video. I say, I'm finna go and post this, bro. Rain get the video. Rain call me back. Rain say, say, bro, you right on everything you saying. He say, but look, Lou, you the only good thing we got right now in the city, fool. And if you go in there and crash and get on that bullshit, bro, the city gonna fall. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because you're the only one trying to keep positive, bro. And I thought about that shit, bro. I erased the video, didn't do it. So yeah. the same words he told me about them other artists, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, 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 I'm like I said, I'm growing. I'm using that same shit on him. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not worth it, bro. You know what I mean? Because Rain got my number, bro. And I respect Rain highly on what he does. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what all shit he be into, but... I ain't finna turn nobody in our city down, bro. You know what I mean? And all I can do is, like I told you, I don't be doing the interviews. I don't be doing that. I just be working. Yeah. If you see me, I'm working, bro. I ain't finna let my words talk. I'm finna let my actions show. Judge a That's man it. not by his words, but by his actions. Action. So I'm just finna keep working. Y'all say whatever y'all want to say about me, but I'm finna keep working. Until a nigga get out here and outwork me, outwrap me, you know what I'm saying? Out fuck with the city more than me. Don't say nothing to me. You know what I'm I saying? I agree. I agree with so that. How can how can you talk about healing the city? How can we heal the city? Well, first off, you know what I mean, as far as And can the, it be healed? Yeah, anything can be healed. Everything can be healed. You know what I'm saying? As long as God involved in it, everything can be healed. But it just gotta be everybody on the same page type healing. And like I talked a while back, when I say heal, all right, everybody's not finna be friends. Right. We can get that out of our head. Everybody's not finna be friends. But the city, it is a way that the city can come together, bro, where everybody is involved and we push as a whole, like like I say, with those with those billion dollar companies, bro, they got VPs, CEOs, managers, A and Rs that hate each other, but they all show up at work and get the bigger picture done. And they don't even talk to each other. They leave and I can't stand it fucking Mike, but they get back the next day and they go to work. We have to get it to the Better system where we had a machine where we run it like that, bro. Because emotions, bro, emo think about emotions, bro, they can go left or right, bro. And sometimes your mind can fuck with your emotions. It can make you pick the wrong one. When you feeling like it's right, you know, but you really wrong. So you making a bad decision, but when you doing the business, you can't go off them emotions. We going off logic. You, you, you a business man, you know how it runs. So if, as long as we get the machine running, bro, it will forever run, you know? Now, as far as on the healing, on the beef end, on the deaths and stuff like that, you can't tell, I can't give nobody an uh, ex expiration date on how long they need to mourn. The best. That, that has to come with them. Glad you said that. Um, when you look at just, um, there's been a bunch of them. From O3 to Young Dolph, PNB, uh, Rock, is that his name? 
Yeah. Um, you know, just a bunch of them. Ducky Lydia P. P. Ducky P. You know uh, what I mean? They, it, it's a bunch of them. I can keep you know going. Saying? You know what I mean? Um, being a rapper, you know, because uh, we have something coming that says it's the most dangerous job on earth right now uh, because of the people dying like they're dying. Um, what, um, how do you feel about. I don't believe that. How do, you can answer that part. You can challenge that part, but also let me know how you feel, how you move with the way you see things, you know, the way they're laying out right now. Yeah, it's, bro, uh, it's only dangerous when you put yourself in danger, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just like saying, goddamn dangerous, Dallas is a dangerous city, they got all these murders. But you go to Highland Park, nigga, you ain't seeing no murders, you know what I'm saying? But if you go put yourself in the middle of the trap spot, the crack spot, everything else, yeah, it, it's fucking problems. And what I mean by that is, these artists, when you are speaking this shit into existence, y'all are asking for beef. A lot of the artists right now, they asking for beef. They dissing the ops. They want a war. Uh, all their music, like you say, is drill music or whatever. So it's sending the message like, nigga, when I see you, it's on. So when you see me, it's on. So when you move with that energy, bro, of course niggas going to test you, bro. Niggas get a, get a rush just out of testing nigga who think he the hardest. You know what I mean? It don't matter, bro. If or you, if you flossing. Yeah, if you flossing. You know what I mean? If you flossing, if you... See, see, look, bro. Man, you remember back in the day, you remember when niggas used to be called my capping, high capping and mm -hmm. shit like that? You know what I mean? That was actually a a, 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 a negative. Like, nigga, like, man, I'm capping ass nigga. I don't fuck with them niggas that brag and all that type of shit. It, it, over time, it reversed. Once Baby them kicked in with bling, that capping switched and it reversed like stunt. So, bro, it's... Bro... People got a lot of shit going on, bro. You see how it is. Our economy fucked up, bro. So, of course, bro, you shitting on niggas, bro. You want to make a nigga feel like shit, bro. You bring that onto yourself. You know what I mean? You don't have to. Some people literally go out and dress up with attention. I, I, I heard bitches dress up. I, I heard female telling me, oh, I just, I just want to go kill these hoes and like, make them sick. You know what I'm saying? And niggas be the same way. It's like they want to put that energy on them. And shit, sometimes... I you put that energy on them, bro, and it comes back. I just feel like, bro, like, honestly, bro, all the rappers, man, them niggas ready to kill something, and that's what they that's what they rapping about. That's what they want. When, when you, you speak into them, existence, they, uh, they the guy that was in the uh, you can't you can't tell me that YFN Lucha that was his song. He sang with him. That was the biggest song he had, I believe. But mm -hmm. who? Uh, PMB PMB Rock. That that one uh, he had with YFN Lucha. Mm -hmm. Every day I'm lit. Every day I'm lit. I yeah. don't know. I ain't, yeah, that, I you wasn't, you wasn't like out. That, you you know wasn't out back then. But well, I think PNB right out. though. Nah, I don't know. Even if I nah, was, you I wasn't out. Listen to music you wasn't like out. that. No, nah, you wasn't out. But, but it went hard. PNB you missed rock, though. That he one. not. He not a gangster rapper though. No. no. So you know what I'm saying. But he was sitting in in the in the in the in Roscoe, Roscoe's. where we go. We just was out. Yeah, we go to that same spot. all the time. And it was so crazy because when the last time we went, the waitress, she told us she was like, and we weren't wearing no big jewelry or no nothing like right. that but she's like you know you got to be careful out here in the streets because people be robbing um they'll run up she said run in that same in place same roscoe's they ran up in there and jacked some guys in there and took their jewelry and money and ran out and they do that not only there but other places in la so you just got to be careful you can't go up come out here be flossing and doing all that stuff so i don't know if some rappers or some people just feel like i'm untouchable like i can wear whatever do whatever and, and dropping well, locations ain't nobody the going. girls dropping locations all the nigga come in and he live man don't do that i don't let them do that. i'm gonna start put a sign up don't go live in my store man yeah I don't even need you going live, man. I don't want your people to know you here until you leave. Get on away from here with that. And yeah. don't know you might have a tail on you, nigga. I don't know. Cause you don't know what other people are into. You know what I That's mean? That's right. People are around you. What be wrong with people, man? You just out here doing stuff and then come over here. It's like <laughs> you yeah. gotta be careful, man, on how you move, man. You so right. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. In a day and age of social media where people and are following, people are watching your every move. Yeah, and, and also some people like to go viral, bro. You know what I mean? You could just be a, you. I'm, sometimes you ain't got to be looking for nothing. Some people just want to go viral just by to say, hey, I punched, I punched, I punched. I was the one that got to slap this dude. Y'all see me, I got to slap this dude. You know what I'm saying? And, and they just want to have their friend record him, you know? Like you see the little kids that be uh, trying to do the pranks. Like when the dudes come yeah. out and they be like, uh, "Hey, bro, I'm, I'm the chain snatcher," you know. Uh, I'm, I'm the original chain snatcher, you know. All that, you know, them pranks, like, and people be like, "Man, 
And then somebody kill them, and then it's like, oh, man, they wrong for killing them. Nah, these kids, is, man, these people getting out of hand with the social media stuff. Yeah, you can't yeah. be walking up on people, you know, expecting everybody to laugh and shit, because it's still, this was a lot of people lose sight, bro. There's still a fucking underworld. There's still people struggling. There's still poverty. There's really a ghetto. I don't care, you know, and a lot of these people grow up in these suburbs and these different type of things and they in these different areas and they don't ever experience that, but that shit is real. And the economy is fucked up. People are not working, you know what I mean? They got them PPP loans and everybody just plow, you know what I'm saying? So now it's like, man, motherfuckers want money, bro. But it's not even just that. You talk about the pranks, you know, I know those, I, I don't really laugh when I watch those videos where they walk up to somebody and slap somebody, whatever, because the first thing I thought, I was like, no, that has to be planned because ain't no way you're not going to fight. Somebody come to me and slap me and I'm just going to be, no, we're going to fight. But the thing is that you don't know, even if the person looked like it could be a CEO and like, oh, he's not going to fight. You don't know. His wife could have just left him. You don't know what could have, his child could have just passed away. You don't know what other people are going through. It does, you don't even have to come from the ghetto. You don't have to be poor. You don't have to be any of that. We're all human beings. We go through things on a daily basis, and you don't know what that person is going through mentally yeah. and where they're at. And you do something to that person. Wow. So how... I'm going to ask you this for these rappers because they want to rap. Boy, these niggas want to rap, and I'm going to let you go after this. But um, <laughs> how do these, I mean, how, when you put out a project, now that you've been home a while, how many visuals do you think you should do with these projects? Because you was getting down when you did your project. There's many. Mm -hmm. I put out four videos in the last two weeks. So, wow. You know what I'm saying? You got to put out, I, I think, I think. Can I think, it be too much? Like he said, you can never have too much content. That's right. You know what I mean? They gonna catch up eventually. Keep dropping. I'm gonna tell you who did it. And they, uh, they uh, Toby, mm -hmm. the one, uh, you know. I love Toby. All right, Toby, one of the hardest artists ever. You know what I mean? But like him, I think he dropped a video every week for like a year or something mm -hmm. like that. You know what I mean? Hit, and, didn't it? But once it caught fire, they had so much content to back. Let's go on. back. You know Boss Talk I mean? One Hundred and One. Go check it out. Watch what that. <laughs> so, that so, whole yeah. lit. Everybody in that whole all night long, nigga. Because yeah. because of the work. When you, you came here. They still got to go back and watch that now. Yeah, you keep working. You know what I mean? <laughs> For real, like do that work, bro. <laughs> that's how. That's how. Yeah. So I. Yeah. Two them videos, man. I be killing them. Working on all. But you said um, earlier. You said you have a vision. But you never told us what your vision was. As far as with the city? With or my vision or what I got going what on What you got myself. going on, what you said. Well, you know, like, I would listen to you talk about the skits and stuff like that, you know, I and mean, that's real hard, you know what I mean? I got a series that uh, that I've been doing, you know what I mean? I'm Depending on how much time, I might show you an episode, or I just catch you another time and show you some of the episodes. So they're already uh, recorded, you're already done with the series? Not all of them, but I have shot some, you know what okay. I mean? I, uh, in October, October 1st through October uh, 7th, we gonna uh, start shooting... Uh, the uh, next four, the next four episodes. We got some, then we gonna knock out these four, and then I'm trying to have it to where before I release anything, the whole s season is done. You know and what? Yeah. What is this? And what? Where do you intend to drop it? And what is this um, in aid of and all of that? Well, it's it's a uh, it's a it's more of a it's a power type series. It's actual. It's a it's an actual series. You know, it's a, really? a yeah, it's a series, man. It, it's live. And what I did is I um, sex scenes and all. Every, it's, it's gonna be everything. I did it. That's when we did that big casting call at Real Life, you know, and we brought a lot of people and a lot of people showed up. So oh, that's some cool. of the people we got. Who's shooting acting, it? Uh, we're shooting it. Me, me and Vic. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and editing directing. and everything? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, it, it, it's getting real live. My boy Doski G's part of it too. Yeah. So uh, what we're doing is also we're involved in a lot of different artists. It's gonna be a lot of different cameos. You're gonna see different artists in there acting and different things like that. So what I'm trying to do is also show artists. Um, another side I'm trying to promote on another side you know mm -hmm. getting them seen on a visual side right. to where people see them and they might fall in love with them as a character on a show and not even know they do music mm -hmm. showing different atmospheres for people to, to, to make you know to make to make ends you know and as well as with that with the books and different type of things like that that I'm over here working with you know well, where are you going to drop it uh, when, where I'm going to drop it where are you going to put all well, this content out well right now we're working when I have it finished if who we're talking to doesn't do what it do. I'm gonna drop it on YouTube. I'm not okay, tripping. Okay, so you know you, what I'm saying? You're I'm, talking I'm, to somebody trying to get them to. Yeah, I'm trying to get it where we can get it. Okay, uh, okay. But I gotta have more of the what's the names. I want to show them more. I only showed them one uh, one of the episodes. I didn't want. I showed them the pilot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get it to where we can get it on a Tubi or a Hulu or, or or 
Amazon Prime, some shit like that. But if I can't, what I'm finna do is first season, I'm gonna drop on the YouTube. I'm still gonna do a premiere and all that type of stuff right here, but I'm gonna drop it on the YouTube and it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. So when second season come, you know, it, trust me, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be live. It's, I it's told you, shit, a, you know what I'm saying? Think about them numbers. I told you that my boy and them getting on YouTube. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know so what it, mean? Ain't, so it, ain't, it ain't nothing wrong dropping on YouTube if you're gonna be consistently working that channel like that. Yeah. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. As long as you're gonna be consistent, you. You are the deal. Yeah. But you, you know got to be putting out. But you know what I just thought about? What you think about? Um, But even with series, because just like TV shows, it comes out, what, once a week? Yeah. comes out like, every, but no, like um, like stars, like 50 Cent shows. All right. You know, it comes out like every Sunday, whatever. Mm -hmm. When you think about YouTube, yes, you watch, and if it comes out once a week, yeah, you're getting viewers, but you're not getting as many viewers as if you were dropping it every single day. And most series or most shows, they're not dropping them every single day. See, how I'm thinking about it, I'm not. I, I could do the uh, every single day, but I might pop it out like how I do when when I do the. Um, I'm thinking about doing it like they do it when they do theirs. Drop fuck uh, teasing them. I'm gonna just drop and give it to them all in one day. Y'all can watch all ten episodes, binge watch it the first day, and you got the first season. But you gotta pay for it. Shit, it's going to be on, I might put it on the subscription part, you know what yeah. I mean? I might put on the subscription part, but the main focus on this first season is getting it seen, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Getting it seen and getting it pushed. And I getting agree with that 100%. Pushed, you know what I'm talking so about? what was that show that we used to watch on YouTube before Jay-Z bought and it? Violence. Yeah, Money and Violence. Did you watch it? Yeah, we exactly. loved it, and exactly. I hated when Jay-Z bought it, because I, I thought he it. was going to do something with exactly. it, but he That's shelved what I'm about it. To say. He never, they, he never, never came did. back out. And it was so good. It wasn't just him, though. Them boys didn't want to work together either. That 10 million made all of them get into it. That mm -hmm. money I have everybody trying to figure out when it where am I? But you see when I think about that in Country Wayne, I'm like, yeah, you got that money, but then if you had stayed on YouTube and kept pushing it the way how you should have been pushing and coming out with new content, you could have made that yours. money it all years and you could have done made that money by now and y'all be good. But the bad part about working with other people, especially if the ownership of it belongs to more than one person, mm -hmm. you're gonna have people falling out. You understand what I mean? People, but you that's, ha that's life, though. That's why even in shows, that's why you always see somebody die. Yeah. Usually because somebody get too big headed and like, you know what? Let me go ahead and kill you off in the series and bring yeah, somebody else in. Killing people Killing people Bring him back after he did, too, and let him come back. <laughs> he he acting get, right now. Get so back he cool. Come back. His ghost come back and yeah. you know, you're like, damn, he back. Yeah. <laughs> For real, <laughs> but some people need to be humble. I just yeah. thank God that you thinking outside the box, man. I'm proud yeah. of what you've done, man. Uh, we're gonna get you back on here again. We wasn't ready. We tried to be ready, but we wasn't. But we getting My, you back in good, here, bro. Me and uh, good, me and uh, uh, me and even Chief talked about it, man. I got I got a link back. How is Mister Pookie doing, man? Is he man. rapping anymore? Yeah, Pookie, Pookie actually he's a vested more than his son. You know what I mean? He still can rap. You know, Pookie will never be able to stop rapping. You of know course. what I mean? He still rap, but he's invested more in his son, Lil That's Crook. Y'all go check out Lil Crook. So he he rapping. He, yeah, Lil Crook. That's hard. good. He hard hard. You know what I'm saying? He hard hard. And then your kids rap? Yeah, my son rap. Which you one? Know, uh, JG say so. Okay. Lil, Lil say so. He uh, he's on my album. He was on my last album. Yeah, he you was. Know? I remember. Okay. But I um. How old is he? He's seventeen now. You okay. Know? But with him, it's like like be honest. You know, this shit's crazy. And I know I can pop him as an artist. And I'm gonna pop him as an artist. But right now, he likes to modeling. He's acting in the movie. And right now, he likes the clothes. So we working on his clothing line, Project Motion. So right now, that's what we on with him. Cause I don't I don't want um. I don't That's want my, my little man to file victim on yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I I'd rather him that. do all this other stuff. And mm -hmm. when he want to rap, he can rap. Because yeah. when he tell me he ready, he ready. You know, he be saying he ready right now. But I want him to finish school. Don't do like I did because I, I stopped school. You know what I mean? Finish school. He already working, saving his own money. He got his LLC for uh, his t-shirt. Show his him the business side yeah, of it. Let That's him get good. that going. Because like I told him, while you in school, you know, Anyways, let him get that going. And I acting, you can make too. that money. You can make a lot of money in acting, too. Yep. Yeah, a lot of money in acting. Any kind of way you want to do it. Uh, you don't... <laughs> You don't have to go by tradition no more. That's all I'll be tripping off of. Yeah, you know, and, and that and that's that's the way the game is now. <laughs> you can get like the door that. open. You know, like I that. mean, you heard you no know, right or wrong. Who way. was that? Who was that? Um, they was telling me about it. You know, like how they're doing it. I think they was talking about it yesterday on that on that YouTube series I was mm -hmm. watching with Jordan them. How you could basically how they get a network deal, but. Only excluding the fact of not messing with their YouTube and Facebook stuff they got going. Mm -hmm. They want them, 
but they respect them for the money they making off of their social yeah, media. Yeah, like platform. you can't touch that. You money. can't even. That's you, my money. And 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 they come into them with bigger deals. The one who are known actors is doing that because mm. they know the money is lucrative over there. So but you have to have it's knowledge. Help, That's it's the helping. It's helping them. Just the knowledge. It's helping. So, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. Is anything? How can people get a hold of you? Got to say that. Uh, y'all already know. Y'all can always follow me on Mr. Lucha Dallas on all platforms. You know what I mean? Uh, shit. If you in the city, you can come find me at the Dive on Seventy Five every Thursday and Saturday. Dive on Seventy Five. You know what I mean? Or if you want, you can pull up at the Rockstar Building, man. You'll hey. see me up at the Rockstar Building, man. And where they can purchase that? They can purchase that in any liquor stores. You know, uh, if y'all want to go to one of my special ones, uh, my partner Brock, uh, the only uh, first black-owned liquor store in downtown Dallas, man. Speak really? Easy Wine and Spirits, man. Shout That's out dope. to Rock St. Brody and Miss Tracy. You know, you can get it there, but you can get it in all the specs and true wines and stuff like that. Or you can order it online. You can go to rockstar.com and order it online, too. You know, we delivering worldwide you know that's wow shit. man did we did you get that's, everything out yes, of sir. it you want to find out about where you hit a dead body <laughs> nah, ain't gonna find out dead body. <laughs> nah but look i would want to say this though you know without city you know it's so much stuff going on you know what i mean i just want everybody to man take a second and just look at yourself bro and forget what everybody else have going on Actually, take a moment, sit with yourself, and think about what your purpose is. Because in order for this puzzle to be put together, you got to put your piece. Ain't nobody else shaped like your piece. They not going to understand your curves and your edges. You do, though. You know what you made for. So don't fall off on what somebody else saying or don't follow the trend because you are the trend. You create the trend. And even if you're, like I say, may just be one piece to a 5,000 piece puzzle, but you gotta play that part, you know that's what I dope. mean? So just play your part and don't worry about what nobody else say, you know man. what I'm saying? And that's that, what I'm gonna do. Thank you real. so much, man. Lou Diamond, hey man, he done blessed the platform once again, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the yep. bosses talk, man. And we are. So,